Nobody has ever seen a duck full of truck. The Florida Gators are going to win. Simple as that. So are you guaranteeing a victory? Is that... Yeah, we're going to go out there and play Gator football and win. We welcome all of you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS. This afternoon from Knoxville, the undefeated Florida Gators against the equally undefeated Volunteers of Tennessee. And moments ago, the Tennessee Volunteer team made its entrance through the block T across the checkerboard end zone. They are at home with a 3-0 record. Quick toss into the end zone, and it is incomplete intended for Callaway. They test the middle. Mark Thompson. Mississippi State, he was in his home once a week for two months. Florida has kept their defense on the field except for the return. The rest of the defense is sit down defense safe. Daniel, fair catch called. Oh, no, oh my bottom. It. It's recovered by Tennessee. On first down, Apple swing pass out the right side. Oh, well defended. Jordan Cronkite. Dobbs gets away. It's Alvin Kamara. You want to watch a good football player? Watch Alvin Kamara. He's faster than you think. He picks up linebackers blocking. He's a good receiver. He threw a jump pass last year's game. Really a solid, good football player. And that is one. Here's Dobbs. Over. Big story there. Not being able to sack Dobbs. And he got loose for a first down. Hard to tackle in the pocket. Clean run at him that time from inside out. Could not make the play. Brian Cox could so not get the... a teammate to get him in proper position. He's got time. He's got a man open. It is caught at the 16-yard line. Jawan Jennings. Lined up in the slot, and I think he beat Jalen Tabor. That's a tough matchup. Excuse me, tough matchup right there. One-on-one -on -one coming to the outside. And they go quickly, and this one is caught at the five. And the ball rolled down at the four. It's Josh Malone. Dobbs. That one's caught. That's Tyler Bird. Yeah, look at that. He's going to yeah. be a great player, Bird. 21-3 at the half. Moments ago, out of the force. Good push. Here's the kick from Harrell. Evan Berry comes up and grabs it. He will return it to the 20, to the 30. And there is a very positive start if you're a Tennessee volunteer. Second down. Dobbs with a pump. Whoa, he That's got it. Catch. Jawan Jennings, a little circus-like catch. You can't make a better play than that. Someone on the team has to come. Left side. No. 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 They'll force the punt. A great inside linebacker, jumper right in the middle. Avoids one block, gets in there on the hit late, and actually forward in the substitute. Mm -hmm. And three guys ran off just before the snap. Inside slant pattern, that's good. Tyler Bird. And that's a move to chain first down. From the corner, watch out. Dobbs shakes the tackle, fires it across the middle. It's caught. Because Josh Dobbs goes to his right, throws completely across his body, and drills him this time. That is a perfect throw to Jason Crum. Here's the blitz. Dobbs back. He's got a man all by himself. Holy cow. Jalen Hurd. Touchdown, Tennessee. Mesmerized to leave the number one guy. That is going to cost him. Nothing. Inside penetration by Tuttle. Shy Tuttle number two. Remember the last time we saw him? Left and defensive ends. 
They rush three and drop eight. And there is a play at the 30-yard line, fourth down. The middle, nothing there. It was Thompson, the running back, stopped by Danny O'Brien, number 95. Three man rush from the backside. Appleby tripped and taken down. Derek Barnett, number nine. Dobbs, deep right side, man coverage. Come back, got it. Josh Malone. Huge play. Oh, they're going after the sub for Florida, Duke Dawson. Remember, Tennessee. Dobbs. Into the end zone, man. Open caught. Touchdown, Ethan Wolf. Tennessee. Seen the whole way. Gets pressure. Perfect throw. And a wonderful catch. And watch Jobs, Josh Dobbs, step into this throw. Gets tall just as he releases it, takes the hit as he releases it, and throws a strike. It was Kalanis Davis, number 95, who got right in his face as he let the ball go. First down and 10. Blitz coming. No penetration. Garrett Barnett, number 9. And watch him crash this time. Totally beats David Sharp inside. Play action. Into the flat. Caught. And the open field tackle is missed, but it's slowed him down. It's DeAndre Goolsby. Todd Kelly Jr., number 24. There he is. One leap, but he's off balance of nothing. Kelly finishes him up as they finish the third quarter. It's a pretty good scene, don't you think? Third and six. Derek Barnett. That's what Tennessee has been waiting for. For Barnett. An elite athlete on the outside to just go and he just sped rush right past David Sharp. He's usually pretty tough in the fourth quarter. Dobbs hit as he lets it go, man open. Caught. He's down the sidelines. It's Jawan Jennings. Touchdown, Tennessee. I think he was just after he let the ball go. I think Tennessee might have given a stutter and go to Florida the way Florida had been doing it. And by the way, Jennings beat Jalen Tabor, their best corner. Matched up right here against the best cover guy. A lot of people say he slipped and fell, but watch the good athletic play. He keeps his feet in bounds. A perfect four possessions and 12 plays. That adds up to three and out, three and out, three and out, and three and out. He's still alive. Heaves it. Intercepted. Picked off at the 40 yard line by Todd Kelly Jr. One of our two scholar athletes for the day. He was off balance. He's trying to find where people are. And when he tries to refocus, he just doesn't do it. Always dangerous to think you've got a receiver wide open because those defenders have their eyes on you and they make up a lot of terrorists yeah. coming off the edge right here. Dobbs hit again. He's got it. This is Malone, and he scores for the fourth consecutive game. This one from 42 yards out. Wow. Come on, 
they get him to the outside technique. Duke Dawson is way out of position. An easy touchdown. That is great coaching. And by the way, that ball was not thrown behind. That's how you got to throw them when you want touchdowns. Joshua Dobbs. It seems a long, long time ago that he started out one for eight for 12 yards. Got him short of the first down. Siante Lewis. It'll be fourth down. Todd Kelly, number 24. Dobbs takes off one man to beat, and he can't beat that man, but he's got a first down. Marcus May, the surest tackler on this team, stops Joshua Dobbs, but he gained 22 yards. Burn, when we did our open, which we did last year's open, I said Josh Dobbs has to be six. Low snap. Broken tackle at the 10. It's Jalen Hurd. And the pile keeps going south. Comes through an arm tackle up front by Joey Ivey. Another one by Tabor, who can't bring him down. And then this play, I think, college football has to be. Dobbs driving for the end zone. Three and outs for Florida in the second half and a one play interception. They've had 16 total plays. Not one first down in the second half for Florida. This one, well, they decide to run it out, does LaMichael P. Ryan. And that was a mistake. Appleby has to pull up. Hit as he lets it go. Incomplete. Well, Golden has replaced and played more in the second half. Looks like Justin Martin, the guy that got beat, is the one that... Appleby. Screen. Beautiful tackle. Four down for Tennessee. They bring all four. Appleby hit the, lets it go, and then, kaboom. Colton Jumper, number 53. Colton Jumper was a starting middle linebacker a year ago until Darren Kirkland replaced him as the season. On first down and 10. Appleby toward the end zone, incomplete. Siante Lewis, number 80. Todd Kelly, number 24. Boom. On DeAndre Jules beat. I think short of the half when they couldn't stay on the field. Into the right corner again. Beautiful pass. Colton Jumper did a great job staying with that play. Coming out of the backfield, Conkright has matched up with the middle linebacker. Watch Colt, number 53, stay with it. Gets his hand in there and then does it again. Tremendous play by Jumper. Well, here's your essential high kick. Fair catch called by Callaway. What, what is he doing? What are you doing? What in the world? Quick flip, tipped, incomplete. Got some here. Fourth and five. Appleby gets loose, lets it go, it's incomplete. Four again, force Appleby out, it's batted down, and the streak is over. Remember.
for Bob Shoot and a half right there. Bob Shoot, he ended it for Vanderbilt, and now he's ended it for Tennessee. He said, I was hired for this job. Butch Jones has done it. He's won more games every year, but with this win, I really believe as you look at Dave Hart right behind him, the athletic director, this brings Tennessee back to relevance. Fourth and goal. Butch Jones, Central Michigan, Cincinnati, fourth year here. Graduate of Ferris State in 1990. We'll take a timeout with one second to go. What a job he's done. When he came here, they did not match up talent-wise. The last two years, they did, but they lost. Four years of work to get to this point right here. Vern, we talk about the tough games that they've coming up. They do have a tough stretch, but if they can get through there, remember they finish off. There. It's over. The streak has ended. show we just saw in that second half just one play at a time we didn't play our best football the first half we all knew that it was all on us and the players I can't say enough about them I love them they knew they were disappointed when we came out and played a great second half it gets us to 4 and 0 you told me this week and that duck is pulling that truck baby <laughs> theme the rest of the year absolutely they'll steal it You know what's kind of funny is when the coaches and the players say, no, we're not thinking about the streak. Believe me, they're thinking about ending the streak now. Look who's leading the band. I am reminded I go back a long ways in this conference at the end of the 2001 season.